ladies and gents. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Jessica Larson and I'm so happy to have you. Today we're going to be creating this green cut crease. I dedicated the whole day to making this for you. I've had a lot of technical difficulties, but it's fine. I've made it. I'm here. I'm aware. I'm awake. I encourage you to subscribe because I have a lot of really awesome things coming over the course of the next year, months, ahead next month we'll say next month because i have things planned and it's going to be awesome go ahead and watch a few of my other videos if you're sure unsure if you're if you're still unsure about me go ahead and watch a few of my other videos watch this one dip your toe in the water see if it's warm see if you like it and then click that subscribe button as always if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below on how you liked the look and i will see you on the flip side let's roll so as you can see, I'm starting with my Chanel concealer to prime the lids. I love this formula. It's super creamy, nice and lightweight, gives me an opaque finish. I'm going to be packing that all over the lid, getting it prepped for our color. Then I'm going to be picking up a white eyeshadow and I searched my whole collection and this is the only one I could find from an old holiday Too Faced palette. I'm surprised that there's not more white eyeshadows, but there's not. So pack that all over to prevent creasing. Next, we're gonna be going in with the Dream Street palette in the darkest brown, and we're gonna be packing this color into our crease. When I say packing, I mean, I finessed the hell out of this color. Like, I blended and blended and blended, and I still had more blending to do. You'll see it. Now, I've studied the, it's Mitchell on Instagram, M-M-M-M mitchell his looks are absolutely insane so i've just been watching them and watching his technique so this is my first time trying it which is why i did my other eye first this is the same concept as my new year's eve look going from dark to light and the reverse blending technique but just a little bit more intense if you want to see more go to mitchell's profile his looks are absolutely crazy so i'm going to blend it into my crease and on the inner and outer corners of my eyes creating more of a halo effect now we're going to keep finessing this color making sure we've got a good solid shape in there just lightly blending out the edges this is the only color i've used so far i haven't transitioned colors now i'm going to be going in with magic in the color pop palette and i'm going to be putting the brush 50% on the dark brown and 50% on the clean lid, just lightly feathering out the edges. My brush is like barely touching my skin. Just the little tips of the bristles are lightly feathering across the crease. I'm gonna go in with that dark chocolate brown again and pack on just because I felt like I was losing a little bit of the color. I wanted some more, so I did it. I went ahead and packed it on. be going in with that lighter shade and buffing out the edges so again we're working from our darkest color up to our transition shade so right now we're working with our transition shade again 50% on the orange and 50% on the clean lid just lightly feathering that out I actually really like this technique though I feel like it's just so flawless everything about it is just so flawless doing a voiceover is really fun though because like past me is really focused and in the game and she knows what she's doing she's going for it but me right now i mean i'm chill i'm eating a bird bowl and i'm hanging out is this a good angle hmm yeah yep this is a good angle heck yeah Woo! oh another snack i'm breaking a sweat snack time now i'm gonna take a brush now I'm gonna show you a little trick. You're gonna go ahead and pop the concealer right onto your lid and look up to the ceiling and it's gonna make a mark. And that mark is your outline for your cut crease. This is an amazing trick because this is gonna prevent any transfer when you open your eyes and also it's gonna show you exactly where your crease needs to be so that you can see it when you open your eyes as you can see I'm pulling the product straight down and so that I get a nice clean line almost stamping it onto the crease and dragging the product down I can't remember where I learned that trick though it was like it was another youtuber I'll have to look up her name I'll look it up right now please hold 
Mick Drew on Instagram is where I learned that technique. Go ahead and look her up. It's at M-C-D-R-E-W. She, her talent is absolutely insane. I watched one of her videos. She's the one who popped that technique in my direction. Now you've got to be careful when you're doing this crease because it can be a lot like eyeliner in the sense, you know how you mess up a little line and then you add a little more, then you add a little more, and then you add a little more, and before you know it, your eyeliner's the size of your whole freaking lid? Same thing here. to breathe I'm pretty sure I didn't breathe the whole time I was doing that cut crease <laughs> okay my camera's about to die right here thank god that was over okay moving on we're gonna be picking up the green in the Jaclyn Hill palette and packing that on the inner and outer corners of the eyes keeping it really close to our crease. Now I am doing the same technique that I used when I was applying the concealer. I'm going right up to the line and pulling the product down rather than going side to side. So I'm just packing that on and pulling the product down. take the second color that I just showed and press that on the line of our green and on the line of our clean green and clean keep it right in between <laughs> now I'm gonna pick up that gold color and press that all over the lid right dead center it's gonna look gorgeous you're just gonna press it on so focused. Look at that laser focused. Past me is so focused. <laughs> I'm watching my past videos. I've just decided that I can't multitask ever in anything that I do. Not multitask, but just talk and do anything. Like I can't talk and drive. I can't talk and walk. I can't talk and do makeup. Like in all my other videos, you'll notice if I'm talking, I'm not blending. Like I'm on a rant and I, my arms are flailing. So that's why I decided to do a voiceover. This was too tedious. There was too much blending. I did not have time for my own bullshit. Now you're gonna take that bronze color again and you're gonna be blending the gold and the green. Just pressing that color in. In between the green and the clean. And then the middle's not clean anymore. It's fine, it rhymes. It's kind of fun chilling here watching myself do makeup but not actually having to do the work at the moment like it's kind of funny also you don't realize all the faces you make when you're doing makeup because you know you're so in the zone and so up close to the mirror so you really don't realize what you're what you look like I guess so it's interesting to just like watch me do makeup <laughs> Okay, I went ahead and did my complexion, and now all I'm gonna do is slap on some mascara. Oh wait, just kidding. I'm gonna be picking up this blending brush, and I'm gonna do my under eyes now. So I'm picking up this Morphe brush, then I'm gonna start with the green and go under my eyes. So again, I was experimenting, so I just did the inner and outer corner of my eye first, thinking that I was gonna pop the gold in the center, then halfway through, I changed my mind. So then I ended up going in with this dark orange that we use at the top and blending it all the way across and blending everything together because I was like mm, bump that and then going with the brown and you're literally gonna be doing what you did at the top and you are just gonna blend it out till you're happy with it now I changed my mind I decided I wanted the inner corner popping with gold and so I went in with my concealer technique that I talked about in my five tips to natural eyes video so I'm just popping that concealer in the corner of my eye and then I'm taking that gold shade that's in the Jaclyn Hill palette and popping that on top of the concealer. All this blending has made me like break a sweat. I've been blending my freaking, my wrist is all worked up. Hello guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you, I love you, I support you, and you know the drill. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. 
comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you next week with another awesome video. Get hyped! <laughs>